next uh, hearing here in the patiala court will be uh, on the 22nd of october she has been granted interim bail as you mentioned on a bond of rupees 50000 uh, she was also given uh, the charge sheet copy and this is standard procedure uh, as soon as uh, court takes cognizance of uh, uh, the charge sheet uh, the first thing that the accused does is secure bail uh, so that is what she did we, we also uh, you know there were there were rumors that uh, the ed would in fact uh, Uh, move to uh, you know uh, ask the court to reject her bail plea but that did not happen and interim bail has been granted uh, but remember uh, the charges against her remain uh, grave uh, in fact uh, in the ed charge sheet uh, that uh, the ed filed uh, in august uh, uh, the cognizance was taken by the pmla court here but in that charge sheet uh, my colleague arvind gunashekar has of course been reporting on that in that charge sheet the ed said Uh, that Jackin Fernandez was well aware of the criminal antecedents and the criminal history of Sukesh Chandra Shekhar, and despite that, she uh, remained, uh, you know, uh, aloof uh, to that, and she uh, remained in a relationship uh, with Sukesh Chandra Shekhar, and she continued to accept gifts. Uh, from Sukesh Chandra Shekhar, and uh, in the ED charge sheet, uh, the ED has uh, alleged uh, that it, it's in fact actually uh, very shocking that Jacqueline Fernandez did not bother to check uh, whether he actually has any shares in uh, Kalyan Jewel, uh, Kalyan Jewels, or other businesses. Uh, but uh, remember. Uh, Jacqueline Fernandez uh, tried to come out innocent in the in the investigation. Uh, the ED said that it's uh, it's false and that Jacqueline Fernandez was well aware. Now remember, uh, Jacqueline Fernandez has been summoned multiple times by the enforcement directorate. She was also summoned by the Economic Offences Wing of the Delhi Police as well. So some relief there for Jacqueline Fernandez. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, the charges against her remain grave. Just to give you a bit of clarity, uh, in April uh, the enforcement directorate had. attached funds worth rupees 7 crore of the actor and also additional cash of rupees 15 lakhs uh, now the ed claims that uh, jackin fernandez accepted gifts worth over rupees uh, 5 crore and funds uh, worth rupees 1 crore over 1 crore in fact were arranged into jacklin fernandez's family's accounts uh, the ed says that ja while jacklin fernandez accepted uh, you know receiving gifts from uh, sukesh and shekhar jacklin fernandez did not reveal the fact that uh, funds were arranged into a family's accounts and also a property was in fact bought uh, by uh, sukesh and shekhar for jacklin fernandez in sri lanka uh, at the at the essence the essence of the matter is the fact that uh, sukesh chandra shekhar uh, you know purchase these gifts using illegal money money that he had uh, procured through extortion uh, by cheating various high profile uh, people uh, such as ranbaxy promoters etc uh, remember actor uh, nora fatehi has also been a uh, question in this money laundering lure for money case as the ed is alleging so some relief for actor jacklin fernandez but the charges against her remain grave and the next hearing as you mentioned is on 22nd of october